we are back on the subject of social media. Anxiety, the feeling of not measuring up, the feeling of inadequacy. What is it that gets you anxious about social media? Now, as I said in my previous video, I do believe that social media is an incredibly powerful tool if used the right way. And I believe that this is where we're at and it's where we're headed. What I mean by that is all of the technical advancements, all of the innovations around technology are done in such a way that we become even more integrated in a digital world. We are moving from physicality to the metaverse, from real and tangible elements and tangible things to a world where your experiential interpretations are less physical and they are more digital. That's where we're at, that is where we're headed. And so I do believe that it is of the utmost importance to think about how we engage with social media, if we decide to stay on social media, how this affects our health in terms of our physical health, as well as our mental health. And I'm just going to delve right into it. For some people, this may mean actually unfollowing some of those influences that you have on your platform because they are influencing you into an early grave. So to start off with, if you have social media anxiety, I think it's important to ask yourself why that is. Do you perhaps feel that you don't measure up or do you perhaps feel inadequate because of the things you see online? Perhaps you frequently see people or influencers who have the kind of lifestyle or the kind of um, physical things that you want? Does it make you feel that you are missing out on the best things in life, love, money? Does it make you feel like an outsider? Do you feel lonely? I think it would be helpful to address the precise source of your anxiety when it comes to social media. And this of course involves honesty. Think about what your trigger points are. Think about who that individual is or perhaps that influencer is that when you see them, you start to feel some sort of way, you start to feel inadequate adequate perhaps or unhappy, whatever it is, I think it's important to think about what the source of that anxiety is. Or it might even be as heavy to some people as your physical appearance. Do you feel that you are not perhaps as beautiful enough or as pretty enough or as handsome enough as some of the influences you see online? It might also be that perhaps you feel some anxiety because you feel that you waste a lot of time scrolling through these pages but you can't help yourself you can't stop well i believe to every problem there is a solution and as with everything in life i think that moderation in the way you consume social media is important so before i suggest a few points that might help you cope with or reduce your anxiety on social media first thing i would like to say is that not everything you see online is real people most likely won't show you the worst part of their lives even on these so-called reality tv shows what the network cares about is ratings and so even if they were to show you some of the negative sides of these programs it would be the negative size that will draw you in and keep you locked in, keep you watching. So just remind yourself that not everything you see online is as it is in reality. All of these individuals on social media are human. They have their really, really tough days as you do, and they've got some fantastic days. And most likely those are the days that you get to see. So it's important to remember that these individuals or you know these images that you see are of real people who have real problems just as you and I do. The second thing I would say about imagery and projection of what you see online is that some of these individuals actually get themselves into very tight and cataclysmic positions because they are trying to keep up with the Joneses. They are trying to keep up with a certain aesthetic or appearance. For example, some people take out loans to buy certain luxury goods just so that they can feel better about themselves or perhaps just so they, they can compete with someone they've seen online. Well, I won't make a judgment on whether or not that's the right decision for you, but if I was in that position, I would rather take out that loan to invest in an asset that will not only service the initial loan that I've taken out, but will return enough so I have an access to perhaps buy that luxury item or maybe to invest further or to fund my lifestyle. The point being that everyone, like I said, has different priorities, but 
it shows you the magnitude and the intensity with which some individuals approach their social media life. And when the banks come hunting for their capital, they won't necessarily care that this is something you've done to improve your mental health or maybe make yourself feel better or the fact that you're trying to build your followership online. They will repossess whatever they need to in order to recoup their capital. Think about whether it makes sense to keep utilizing money that you don't necessarily have to buy things that you don't necessarily need in order to impress people that perhaps you don't necessarily like. So if you are experiencing anxiety on social media, there are several things you can do to alleviate or maybe reduce some of that anxiety or eradicate it altogether. The first thing is, as I have said, if you decide to stay on social media and you enjoy it, you might want to think about removing some of those trigger points. So if there is a certain celebrity or a certain personality or influencer that you know triggers you, so when you see their posts, you often feel like, oh gosh, I wish I had that, or my life isn't worthy, or you know, whatever it might be, maybe think about unfollowing them for a bit to test out the theory that, you know, it is them, or maybe it's something else. Um, maybe think about taking a break from their page or muting them. I would suggest you go ahead and do that for a week, start with a week, see how you, you know, how that goes for you, and then maybe increase it to a few weeks to a month. And suddenly you find yourself in a situation where you are not so triggered because you have completely eliminated all of those distractions or all of those trigger points. My second suggestion would be to limit the time you spend on a daily basis online and also be more intentional about what you consume. Now, of course, there's a huge part of media that is just for entertainment. And I think, you know, that there's nothing wrong with that. But if you are aware that a certain portion or a certain segment of that tends to trigger you, maybe limit how much time you spend on it or limit what precisely you are paying attention to when you get online. But if you know that a certain portion of that tends to be a trigger for you, maybe reduce the amount of time you spend consuming that particular segment or that particular part of entertainment. Because of course, the more time you expend on certain things that trigger you, the worse you feel as you keep indulging. So taking some time away from that, I believe will reduce its power and its influence on how you feel. So following on from the second point, the third point is to really replace the time that you've taken away from social media, replace that with something that you enjoy or you find productive. So we all have hobbies and there are things that you enjoy doing, just so you don't get tempted to essentially get back on the platforms, maybe spend that time doing what you enjoy. That might be reading, painting, uh, visiting art galleries, uh, racing, games, taking a walk in the park, whatever it is, watching TV, something that makes you happy. Replace that time with something that actually brings you joy. So of course, what that has a propensity to do is to increase the amount of time that you spend doing things you enjoy, perhaps doing things that teach you, that you learn from or that better you. And by consequence, you spend less time being anxious around what you've seen online. The next point, which is fairly drastic, but something I did a few years ago, about four years ago, is to completely delete social media. I came off it because it was wasting my time. I spent a lot of time trying to make sure that, you know, for my business, the images I put up were perfect and it was just really exhausting. It was really time consuming and frankly, Frankly, the returns I was getting from the time allocated to that just wasn't tenable, it wasn't sustainable, so I decided to come off social media altogether, for now at least, who knows what will happen in the future. So perhaps that is what you need to try, perhaps taking a little bit of a semi-permanent break just to see how you get on and how that affects your anxiety level. The next point which I think cuts across Everything I've said so far is to subscribe or consume information or data that is more uplifting and positive. So maybe rethinking some of the influences you follow and just filtering that so you have a nice balance of, I suppose, those who are there for entertainment purposes versus those who actually make you feel like you are learning something or you're accomplishing something or, you know, more educational and uplifting material that helps towards your personal self-development. And in conclusion, I will say that everything we do is a choice. You have the power and the choice to determine what externalities have great influences on your life, on your mood, on your personality, on your character, your mental well-being, on your lifestyle, 
on your spirituality, etc. So think about it. If an inanimate object such as a phone or a laptop or your TV screen or your iPad is causing you such great anxiety, you hold the power to say enough, no more. I'm not of course suggesting that you get rid of your devices. I'm saying eliminate your triggers. So that is it for this video. I do hope you found it entertaining as well as uplifting and encouraging. If you are experiencing anxiety where social media is concerned, I do want you to know that you are not alone, but also I hope that this video has given you some pointers as to perhaps how to approach your relationship with social media in a better and a healthier manner. And if it has, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos from me. Until next time, look after yourselves. Bye for now.